What must you do when the amber light is flashing at a pelican crossing? Stop and wait for the green light. Stop and wait for the red light. Give way to pedestrians waiting to cross. Give way to pedestrians already on the crossing. The conditions are good and dry. When should you use the two second rule? Before restarting the engine after it is stalled. When checking your gap from the vehicle in front. Before using the mirrors, signal, maneuver routine. When traffic lights change to green. You're approaching an unmarked crossroads. How should you deal with the junction? Accelerate and keep to the middle. Slow down and keep to the right. Accelerate and look to the left. Slow down and look both ways. You're driving along this road. What should you do if the red car cuts in close in front of you? Accelerate to get closer to the red car. Give a long blast on the horn. Drop back to leave the correct separation distance. Flash your headlights several times. You're driving on a clear night. Which lights should you use if the national speed limit applies and there's a steady stream of oncoming traffic? Full beam headlights. Side lights. Dipped headlights. Fog lights. You're driving a car that has a diesel engine. What can a loose filler cap on your fuel tank cause? It can make the engine difficult to start. It can make the roads slippery for other road users. It can improve your vehicle's fuel consumption. It can increase the level of exhaust emissions. What should you do to avoid fuel spillage? Check that your tank is only three quarters full. Check that you've used a locking filler cap. Check that your fuel gauge is working. Check that your filler cap is securely fastened. What should you do when a person herding sheep asks you to stop? Ignore them as they have no authority. Stop and switch off your engine. Continue on but drive slowly. Try to get past quickly. You're approaching a zebra crossing. What should you do if pedestrians are waiting to cross? Give way to older and infirm people only. Slow down and prepare to stop. Use your headlights to indicate they can cross. Wave at them to cross the road. You're approaching a red light at a puffin crossing. Pedestrians are on the crossing. When will the red light change? When you start to edge forward onto the crossing. When the pedestrians have cleared the crossing. When the pedestrians push the button on the far side of the crossing. When a driver from the opposite direction reaches the crossing.
What should you do when you're overtaking a horse and rider? Sound your horn as a warning. Go past as quickly as possible. Flash your headlights as a warning. Go past slowly and carefully. What type of emergency vehicle is fitted with a green flashing beacon? Fire engine. Road gritter. Ambulance. Doctor's car. You're driving behind a large goods vehicle. What should you do if it signals left but steers to the right? Slow down and let the vehicle turn. Drive on, keeping to the left. Overtake on the right of it. Hold your speed and sound your horn. You're traveling at the legal speed limit. What should you do if the vehicle behind approaches quickly, flashing its headlights? Accelerate to make a gap behind you. Touch the brakes sharply to show your brake lights. Maintain your speed to prevent the vehicle from overtaking. Allow the vehicle to overtake. What style of driving causes increased risk to everyone? Considerate. Defensive. Competitive. Responsible. What should you do if you're being followed by an ambulance showing flashing blue lights? Pull over as soon as it's safe to do so. Accelerate hard to get away from it. Maintain your speed and course. Brake harshly and stop well out into the road. Which vehicle will use a blue flashing beacon? Motorway maintenance. Bomb disposal. Snow plow. Breakdown recovery. You're being overtaken by a long, heavily laden lorry. What should you do if it's taking a long time for it to overtake? Speed up. Slow down. Hold your speed. Change direction. When should you flash your headlights at other road users? When showing that you're giving way. When showing that you're about to turn. When telling them that you have right of way. When letting them know that you're there. Who should obey diamond shaped traffic signs? Tram drivers. Bus drivers. Lorry drivers. Taxi drivers. Which color follows the green signal at a puff and crossing? Steady red. Flashing amber. Steady amber. Flashing green. You're in a line of traffic. What action should you take if the driver behind is following very closely? Ignore the driver behind and continue to travel within the speed limit. Slow down, gradually increasing the gap between you and the vehicle in front. Signal left and wave the driver behind to come past. Move over to a position just left of the center line of the road. You're driving at night on an unlit road. What should you do if you're following another vehicle? Flash your headlights. Use dipped headlights. Switch off your headlights. Use full beam headlights.
You're driving at night on an unlit road. What should you do if you're following another vehicle? Flash your headlights. Use dipped headlights. Switch off your headlights. Use full beam headlights. What should you do if a vehicle pulls out in front of you at a junction? Swerve past it and sound your horn. Flash your headlights and drive up close behind. Slow down and be ready to stop. Accelerate past it immediately. You wish to turn right ahead. Why should you take up the correct position in good time? To allow other drivers to pull out in front of you. To give a better view into the road that you're joining. To help other road users know what you intend to do. To allow drivers to pass you on the right. What's the minimum time gap you should leave when following a vehicle on a wet road? 1 second 2 seconds 3 seconds 4 seconds What should you do if you're driving a slow moving vehicle on a narrow winding road? Keep well out to stop vehicles overtaking dangerously. Wave the vehicles behind to come past you if you think they can overtake quickly. Pull in when you can, to let the vehicles behind overtake. Give a left signal when it's safe for vehicles to overtake you. What does it mean if the signs at a bus lane show no times of operation? The lane isn't in operation. The lane is only in operation at peak times. The lane is in operation 24 hours a day. The lane is only in operation in daylight hours. When should you use your vehicle's horn? To alert others to your presence. To allow you right of way. To greet other road users. To signal your annoyance. On a road where trams operate, which vehicles will be most at risk from the tram rails? Cars. Cycles. Buses. Lorries. You're in a one-way street and want to turn right. Where should you position your vehicle when there are two lanes? In the right-hand lane. In the left-hand lane. In either lane, depending on the traffic. Just left of the center line. You're driving in traffic at the speed limit for the road. What should you do if the driver behind is trying to overtake? Move closer to the car ahead, so the driver behind has no room to overtake. Wave the driver behind to overtake when it's safe. Keep a steady course and allow the driver behind to overtake. Accelerate to get away from the driver behind. Why is it dangerous to travel too close to the vehicle ahead?
Your engine will overheat. Your mirrors will need adjusting. Your view of the road ahead will be restricted. Your sat-nav will be confused. When should you leave a two second gap between your vehicle and the one in front? When it's raining. When it's dry. When it's icy. When it's foggy. What will happen if you follow this vehicle too closely? Your brakes will overheat. Your fuel consumption will be increased. Your engine will overheat. Your view ahead will be reduced. You're waiting in a traffic queue at night. How can you avoid dazzling drivers behind you? Use the parking brake and release the foot brake. Keep your foot on the foot brake. Balance the clutch with the accelerator. Use the parking brake and foot brake together. Which type of crossing allows cyclists to ride across with pedestrians? Toucan. Puffin. Pelican. Zebra. Why should you never wave people across at pedestrian crossings? Another vehicle may be coming. They may not be looking. It's safer for you to carry on. They may not be ready to cross. Which instrument panel warning light would show that headlights are on main beam?